Hello and welcome to Funky Junk. My name is Michael and today I am very excited to be taking a look at one of, if not the most iconic pieces of recording studio equipment ever made, the Fairchild 670. Except this is not a clone, this is not a vintage unit. This is in fact a rebirth of the original Rain Nama design, brought back to life by Tony Fishman and his team at Telefunk and Acoustic. And we're very excited to take a look at it today. So let's get into it. The Fairchild needs little introduction. Designed by Nama and then licensed for use by Sherman Fairchild in the late 1950s, it's widely regarded as the Holy Grail compressor and has played a significant role in both the broadcasting and the musical landscape for the past 70 plus years. It can be found on countless hit records from the likes of the Beatles, Rolling Stones to Pink Floyd and many, many more. The Fairchild is a variable mu compressor, which means it uses a tube as its gain reduction element. And this typically results in very smooth, very musical and relatively transparent compression styles. Its sonic character can be attributed to its fast attack and slow release times, which avoid any sort of pumping or obvious compression artifacts, as well as its ability to add dimension, weight and punch to mixes. The addition as well of both dual mono and stereo mid-side processing, or lateral vertical as they refer to it, uh, only adds to its flexibility in the studio. The Fairchild incorporates two compressors into its chassis, each capable of processing audio either as two independent signals, for instance the left and right of a stereo source, or as lateral and vertical components for mid-side processing. This mode is particularly useful in mastering applications whereby greater control over the overall image and impact of the mix is desirable. On the front panel, we have the power switch indicator, VU meters. We have a switch to select between gain reduction mode and balance, which is used for calibration of the meters. We have a stepped input gain control at 1 dB increments, a continuously variable threshold control, and then we have our time constant selector, which cycles through six programs of attack and release settings from fast to slow to very slow, 25 seconds in fact. Underneath this, you have your switch to change between left and right mode or lateral and vertical mid-side mode. The rear of the unit is occupied by no less than 11 transformers and 20 valves, all of which have been hand selected to meet original specification and most of which exist outside of the audio path. So there we go, the Fairchild 670. There's no denying the indelible mark that this compressor has left upon the recording industry. And what Tony Fishman and his design team have done here is nothing short of remarkable. The unit is available now, so of course if you'd like more details don't hesitate to get in touch. And of course if you want to see more content and videos like this in future, don't forget to like and subscribe below. But in the meantime, thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.